with uh, Ben Hemingway. Ben, fifth place mate, a tough race for you? Yeah, very hard. Um, the morning was very tough, um, managed to get through okay and then the evening was just, um, well, just as tough to be quite honest. I got not a bad start but then the first hill I managed to get up really easy which helped me and then I managed to get my toe down a bit from there. Um, Dan was giving me info and uh, stick, <laughs> kept telling me to go faster but yeah, I pushed as hard as I could today. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I can't get get with those boys. They're they're, they're starting to be on another level now. It's uh, it's very difficult. But yeah, I'm I'm over the moon with fifth. Yeah, cool, cool, and a, a good result for Beater as well. Beater will be quite happy with uh, with your, your performance. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we keep flying the flag. Um, I'm just on an absolute stock standard bike this weekend, and it's been absolutely faultless. Didn't even have a fan on the bike, and it didn't overheat or anything. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm made up with the bike. I think it's brilliant. And, uh, yeah. It's been a tremendous uh, performance by you and your brother Dan. Yeah. I know Dan didn't qualify for the second race, but I think uh, you know overall the Brits, again, at the top of the field still. And, uh, you know, you and Dan normally always sort of top five, top ten, aren't you? Yeah, we, we seem to do quite well in these um, in the extreme events. Um, I think it's just bloody-minded Yorkshire, isn't it? I think... <laughs> Just never give in and push and push and someone will eventually put the flag down so yeah. <laughs> for you to stop. But yeah, really enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic event here. And the people, the fans, are, they're, they're crazy. It's unbelievable. It's been been a really good weekend. Well done, mate. Well done anyway. Thank you. Take care. Yes. All right, we're just with uh, Dan Hemingway. Dan, uh, I know you didn't qualify uh, for the second race, so there's, there's been some sort of issue there anyway. But uh, the first race what you had today, uh, not so good. No, not uh, so good. Not, not feeling well. No, not 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 good at all. Not good at all day to be quite honest with you. Um, got a really good start and then uh, ended up in a big crash at the start and um, most of the 45 riders rode over the top of me. But then got into a rhythm in the middle, got it pulled back up to about eighth or ninth, and then had a bit another big crash just on the on the box behind me, which um, well just just uh, it was on the last lap, um, dropped me to 13th, but then got the lad back for 12th over the line and uh, for some reason I don't know it was a, a, a rule where there was a German championship and they were right. taking the, he had to ride it so they took me out from 12th and, and put him in and, and what have you so uh, I suppose in some respects you would have been a little bit relieved uh, to have a bit of an easier afternoon not doing the second race yeah um, yeah I, I, I don't know it was, it was in two minds earlier I, I, I half didn't you know I still wanted to ride but um, with it, these, I was just saying earlier that on the on the long tracks, on the on the you know, I mean fitness is not too bad, but it's far too early. I've only I'm only four months since Erzberg's, you know, and doing that, and my fitness is nowhere near. When it's in, intense like this, and I can't I can't drag my leg in a rut and stuff like that, so I'm really cautious of that because it just feels like it's going to snap in half. But you know, I'll uh, I'll work over winter. And I think from from where we're concerned and the rest of the fans uh, to come back. So soon after a broken leg injury like you've had, I think you've done really well and we're proud of you and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you very much. Yep. All right.